There are several visual cues that we can use to inform the reader that a new passage of text has started or we have a break in a paragraph. And in terms of the latter, you can use two different techniques. One is to use an indentation at the start of a new paragraph, or you can have the equivalent of a line space after every paragraph. I'm going to take you through both of these options. To apply this edit, you'll need paragraph options visible. You can either do that from the dedicated paragraph panel, which is under window, type in tables and paragraph from the sub menu, or the control and the properties panel. If I double left click on the text frame and we don't apply a left indent to the very first paragraph of a new passage of text. So I'm going to start from the second paragraph down, drag across and then through all the other paragraphs. I'll then go to my paragraph panel and then the second option down on the left hand side is first line indent. And from here, well, it's measured in millimeters, but if you start by typing in the size of your text, in my case, it's nine points and then add a P and a T at the end. If I hit the return key, it will then put a left indent to every first line of those paragraphs. Straightforward, and that's how it's done. In terms of what it looks like in a paragraph style, well, if I click back on paragraph styles, go down to the bottom and Alt and left click on the create new style. I'll call this indented. And then I'll go down to indents and spacing. It's there. We have a text description in this case, first line indent, and it's at the millimeters version inside of there. When I click OK, it then becomes part of my paragraph style. The other option is to add the equivalent of a line space between your paragraphs to inform the reader of a break. And if I double left click on the text frame and then select all of my text, you'll see that we have options in the control panel that match and the properties panel. And from here, I'll swipe across the value and this time use your leading value. We want the equivalent of a line gap. So in my case, that's 11 PT, hit the return key and we now have a line gap in there. This option is intended to be applied to every paragraph in your passage of text, unlike the first line indent where you don't apply it to the first paragraph. From here, well, if I hit the escape key, go to paragraph styles, alt and left click, call this space after, under indents and spacing, there it is, space after. I'll click OK. So we have two very effective methods for informing the reader of a break in the passage of text. Over the years, I've used both techniques, but my personal preference is the space after paragraph. I, I like it for its clean and clear nature in the way that it informs the reader there's a break in the paragraph. But the downside is that, of course, you lose an entire line where your copy could be housed. So it really depends again on your publication. If you want to cram lots of content in, then I would say a left indent will be preferable. If you want to use a more of an Esquire, a light and uh, airy kind of document with lots of nice white space, then the space after paragraph will probably be more appropriate.